As with Cyclone Larry, Cyclone Yazi devastated about 85% of the banana industry. Many farmers lost entire crops, but this time some trialled de-leafing and other measures to help protect their livelihood. We grow bananas on, on the Russell River under Hector Farm. You know, we're getting sick of these cyclones, but that's part of, part of North Queensland, I think. A banana tree makes, I think it's about 27 or 28 leaves, I'm not sure. When it finishes making all its leaves, it throws the bunch and the tree needs eight to 10 green leaves to grow the bunch. So if you go and cut a tree that's fully grown, cut all the leaves off, it won't be successful in carrying a bunch. We decided we were gonna get hit, so we had a block we thought still had eight or 10 leaves to make. So we went through and cut all those leaves off and just left the stem there. And I think we got through about 45 acres in the day and that night the cyclone came. But they survived quite well, those, those trees. Some of the bunches are a bit small, which is a bit disappointing, but um, in the end, to have some production when no one else had any, um, helped a lot of growers with the cash flow and, and many of them have come back and they've recouped all their money before the, this glut. And the intention is to do research this year on, on the deleafing aspect and to see how far we can push it and fine tune it a bit. It's hard to make the decision to go and do it because you might do it and the cyclone doesn't hit you. Yeah, when Cyclone Yassi was heading towards Cairns we got pretty worried because we remembered what Larry did to us. We then went out and cut the tops, took an orchard hedge through some, just took the top part of the leaves off, lent bunches over on 120 acres, and the cyclone bypassed us. So, yeah, we effectively lost 120 acres of production during this, you know. Yeah, I don't think there's any right answer. It comes down to statistics and percentages. If, if you're on the coast, you probably wouldn't hesitate to do something. Up here, I don't know what the correct answer would be. If you miss a cyclone, you, you're effectively a bit like winning the lottery. <laughs>